What's up everyone? Welcome to a new episode on the channel and we are taking a look at two new routes today in Train Simulator Classic. Both of them are Metra Chicago uh, transit routes and I am actually very excited to be showcasing these because Metra was actually a big part of my childhood so actually seeing it in a sim is truly amazing especially if it's like one of the routes that almost hit close to home but not really so today we are actually going to be taking a look at the milwaukee district north line uh work in progress by metro boy so this is actually the one we're on right now and then later on in the video we'll be taking a look at the ncs or the north central service route made by aiden 0928 and uh yep i'm very excited about this one i grew up taking the milwaukee district west line not the north line um i I think I've taken this one like once or twice, honestly. So I'm actually very excited to be showcasing this in game. And uh, let's go ahead and hop in the Metro locomotive here and let's go ahead and check out a whatever pretty much the finished portion of what has been completed so far. All right, and we got METX 100 City of Lockport out here. Got our updated sounds and all of that good stuff. Let us go ahead and put on the reverser and a forward here. Get our HUD menu up. Put her into drive. Now, I was actually kind of bummed out because the first version of this route, for some reason, I could not open. And uh, let's not worry about the couplers, the floating couplers. Um, I tried using the MP36 for this uh, showcase. And uh, anytime I put in the searchlight simulations, like, pack with the horn and bell, it screwed everything up. So I might have to do a uh, whole reset of that. And uh, don't mind the trees in the middle of the route. That's probably just a glitch for the route. Uh, I'm not too sure. But yes, we don't have MP36s like I wanted. So we are rolling with the F40. And we do have random trees in the middle of the tracks here. Which, you know, I don't care. It's kind of cool. Like I said, it's still a work in progress. So there's going to be bugs and everything. Um, but yeah, so for some reason, the very first version that they was uploaded... I could not get to work every time I tried to load it up in a scenario editor or just the editor itself. Uh, it would just uh, freeze on the loading screen. And I made double check and I triple check to make sure I had everything that I needed in the game. And uh, for some reason, nothing ever worked. So I'm super happy that it was actually updated to use less assets from like other third party websites. And it was mainly just using the stuff that is offered on Steam. And now the route actually works, which I'm super happy about. But for this portion of the route, we do have Lake Villa and around Lake Beach. And it is supposed to be going on from uh, Chicago's Union Station. So I'm assuming they're going to basically copy out CUS the, from the racetrack route. Instead of going out towards the uh, racetrack, it's actually going to be the opposite side, the north end of the Union Station. So that'll be super cool to see. And it is supposed to extend out to Fox Lake. So we'll have plenty of Amtrak, uh, Hiawatha services, plenty of, you know, Canadian Pacific Freight as well. Um, so that will be definitely a cool uh, thing to see. And this is actually not the first route we're going to be showcasing. We have plenty of routes to uh, showcase off in this game that uh, we're going to be taking a look at. So I'm not too sure. I think we're actually coming up on... Round Lake Beach, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, we're actually going to be coming up on Northbrook first. So we do have Northbrook as well. Okay, so yeah, we're going to be coming up on Northbrook first. So there it is popping up on the HUD right there. We do got a crossing the flag. Crossings are a little bumpy there, as you guys saw on that you know that is a glitch in the game but yes Northbrook is coming up got a little bit of look at the scenery here now he, the uh, author is trying to make it like true to life of what the scenery actually is so it'd be pretty cool to like accurately see how well it looks in the game uh, versus how well it actually looks in real life and I think that'll be a super cool thing so there is the Brookfield uh, water tower even though it is round lake beach it looks like we do have another metro service out here at the station already so we're just going to do a self lap right here 
we'll go ahead and stop at the station and we'll continue on. Uh, I'm not too sure which way we're actually going. So we're just going to have to kind of figure it out as we go. Uh, I'm not too, f I mean, like I said, I'm not too familiar with the route, but I, I know of it. I pretty much know all of the, the Metro routes. So if we can actually make a route that is the Metro Electric, that'll be uh, very cool. i would be a lot cool to see because that is pretty much my stuff right there. So we do have a crossing as well, and we do have another Metro service with an F40. And there's that floating coupler again. So we got double the platform here at Northbrook. Doors are open, and we do have that door chime as well. Alright, I guess we don't have the door chime unless we've forgotten to throw that mod in. But let us go ahead and highball out of here. Alright, so after this, we do have Lake Cook Road. I don't believe it's set up as a station yet. I think it's just a pass-through. So that'll be a cool thing to see. And uh, as you can see, we do have the METX 100 once again. And then, of course, when we do the North the NCS showcase, it'll be an F40 as well. So like I said, this one is made by Metro Boy. And both of these are available on the Steam Workshop. Or not the Steam Workshop, the uh, Train Sim Community. I will have links in the description for both of them if you guys haven't already checked them out. Uh, also, let me know what you guys think of the route in the comment section down below. I'm actually very uh, happy that someone is making Metro stuff. I'm hoping that after this, the, the Milwaukee District West Line will be added into the game. Quite possibly the Metro Electric. I know somebody was working on it a while back. But unfortunately, I think that project did end up dying out. I'm not too sure exactly what happened with it. So we do got more trees out here in the middle of nowhere. Just in the middle of the tracks here. And yes, we do. So we do have that there. And then we have this little area right here. But I don't think that's anything in the game so far. And then I feel like just out over here is nothing as well. I feel like it's just kind of barren terrain. Oop. Yeah, pretty much for the most part it's just barren terrain. So I'm going to definitely keep an eye on this project. And if we have end up having uh, more updates and more of the route added, I'll definitely start showcasing it off again. Hopefully with the uh, MP36s. But as of right now... That is pretty much the Milwaukee District North Line. I'm very excited for this route, as I keep saying. So we're going to go ahead and stop this train here. And then we are going to go ahead and take a look at the NCS route, or the North Central Service route. Alright guys, so here we are on the NCS route, the North Central Service. As you can see, back here we just got like a track running through a whole bunch of trees and then it ends and splits or ends right there. So we're kind of starting our day out here in the trees. Now this one does not have the uh, station stop set up properly as of yet. So we are going to have to just kind of skip through them. I mean, we'll stop at them, but we'll end up just kind of skipping through them. Since it doesn't actually have it set up as of yet. But we do got a stop signal up here before we hit the station stop now. I actually had them backed up, so Lake Cook Road and Northbrook were the MDNL, and this is Lake Villa and Round Lake Beach. I had them, I guess, flip-flopped on my little notepad I had of the station stops. So we do have a short little five-car consist today. Hop back in our F40, turn the lights on, all of that good stuff, release the brake. There we go. We'll go ahead and make sure we can get approval to pass that signal, which we will. We'll go ahead and stop here, do a full uh, stop and proceed, kind of like how it is done in real life. And then we'll go ahead and come to that station stop here, stop at it, all that good stuff. Now, a lot of you guys have questions about how to add the logos 
into the game and I do get a lot of questions about that so I will do a little tutorial showcase on how to do it um, because uh, the instructions are very confusing I will definitely say that so I will show you guys in another video how to add the uh, logos and stuff and then that'll probably be when we do like another racetrack video or something um, so we got our stop and proceed Let's go ahead and highball some more into this station stop here. So we got to stop and proceed. Uh, depends on the railroad. Some is like 10 miles an hour. Some is 5. Some is 15. So we're just going to mark it out as 15. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and stop at this station stop here. Looks like we got an Amtrak, uh, Levensworth, Washington. That is definitely not where we're at. So this station stop is technically not um, set up properly. So as you guys can see, there's two clear signals going both directions, even though the switch is set for my direction. So it is definitely not 100% uh, set up properly as of yet. But there is a lot of scena uh, scenery and stuff on this uh, WIP portion of the route. I don't even think the doors are going to open. I feel like it's not even set up properly yet. So like I said, both of these are still work in progress. Yeah, so they're not even, they're, yeah, they're not even opening. But yeah, so that, I believe that was Lake Cook Road, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, it's either Round Lake Beach or Lake, or no, it's either Round Lake Beach or Lake Villa, not Lake Cook Road. I get the two lakes mixed up, that's what it is. So, uh, from the map, looking at the map, it is just one straight line of route so it looks like we do have a clear signal at our next signal and then basically just take it out to as far out as we go so I'm not too sure like what station stop is which you know, just because it's not set up properly as of yet but hopefully soon hopefully soon we'll have some more updates to it as well as the other one and hopefully soon we'll have some more routes in the game because I do got a lot of metro locomotives and stuff to, sh sh the stuff to uh, showcase and all that good stuff. And I know a lot of you guys have been requesting Metra. So definitely excited about that one. Alright, we do got a clear coming into our next station stop here. I just had to fly, protect that crossing there a little bit. And whatnot. So yeah, it looks like, uh, I'm not, like I said, I'm not too sure exactly what stations we're hitting in order. I'm not even sure if I'm going the right direction with the locomotive. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be going this way or if the cab car is supposed to be leading this way. I have no clue. So we do got that buffer there up ahead and all that good stuff. Now I said these are still work in progress. So the route technically isn't all, all the way completed. So, like I said, just kind of, you know, showcasing what we got going on, especially for you guys. I know a lot of you guys on my channel are fans of Metra. So I did want to uh, show you guys what's going on in the train sim world. That was loud. Not even going to lie, that was a little loud. But here we are coming into our next station stop here. So that shows it as Harlem Avenue, even though definitely not Harlem. And we got those uh, crossing there on the uh, si or on the pedestrian crosswalks. That's actually cool how they did that. That's awesome. So we'll go ahead and start stopping it a little bit more here. And we have that like little protect uh, crossing there or that little tiny platform on the other side of the crossing there, which I don't think we're actually even going to use. And then, yep, same thing. That's not calibrated as a cross or as a station stop. But then as we continue out, that is pretty much the end of the route. So, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think of these two routes in the game. Um, 
little bit of a showcase here. Like I said, there's not much scenery, but it's still a definite work in progress. So I'm super, super, super stoked about this, these two, and uh, hopefully we'll see where the progress is. Um, it would be awesome if the developers uh, sent me out some copies of some beta tests. I would love that, but I'm not asking for anything. So, uh, But yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys out here on the next video. Peace.